Welcome to the host with the most podcast. Podcast. And now, direct from the Razzle Dazzle Studios, here's the tan, tattooed connoisseur of conversation, Todd Newton. You know how when I was over in Thailand, I told you that the the well, it's a horrible name really, but that's what they call them, the Lady Boys over in Thailand. Right. You know? Right. How some of them and I, I have to imagine, Maria, that the uh, the cost, the expense of having a uh, a reassignment surgery, you know, the total package over there. Yeah, the top to bottom, the hormones, everything. Every it's gotta be much, much less because the work over there is exquisite. Exquisite. I mean, if, if there are ladyboy bars over there, so you know that they're all ladyboys. The the it, they actually the word over there is katoi, k a t h o e y. I think katoi. But the bars, so you know they're all ladyboys. But I tell you what, man, if you're not in a ladyboy bar and a katoi is is there, there's a good chance you're not going to know it. I mean, it, it, the work is masterful, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, well, coming from a heterosexual straight male, yeah, wow, yeah, that's if a, you can say it. But there is, uh, there is uh, a woman. Her name is Poid Trichada Petcharat, and she is a Thai transgender model. She is known as Thailand's most beautiful transgender woman, and she is beautiful. She just got married. She got married to. What is his name? Uh, Oak Pakwa Hoingok. He's a big businessman over there. And I'm looking at these wedding pics. They're they're a beautiful couple, you know, and more power Mm -hmm. to them. We wish you many, many years of happiness. But dig this. I don't know what he does for a living, but the outfits that they wore, not the whole wedding, Maria, his tux, her dress equaled $580,000 U.S. just for the outfits. It's funny because I was thinking about wedding clothes this morning, and and you only wear that wedding dress one time. Yes, you never wear it again in your nope. life. No, nope. like you may try it on on an anniversary. Oh, look, I can still fit in here, but that's it. You don't wear it anywhere. Nobody ever sees you in that dress again. Uh, uh, and why you, spend so much money on it? I see on these reality shows how sometimes mothers want to pass the dress down to the daughters. But look, when 25, 30 years go by and your daughter's getting ready to get married, styles have changed, fashion has changed. Right. She ain't going to want to wear that old mothball smelling dress, you know, that you've had tucked away in your basement for 20 years. Unless she's like, right. Not to mention the fact you may not be the exact same size as your mother. I'm two inches taller than my mother. Yeah. Yeah. I wore her wedding dress to a. It's like a military ball, uh-huh. but it was because they let you wear stuff T-length, which is not all the way to the floor, right, right. because See, her dress would have never hit the floor for me. Ankles are showing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Poid, the transgender uh, model over there, she's very successful. She uh, won the Miss Tiffany pageant. I guess that's a transgender model pageant, the Miss International Queen pageant, and she met her now husband. Uh, he's been best friends with her brother. For over 20 years. So he's known her when she was a he and uh, they just fell in love. And, you know, when she when she got her surgery, he was like, whoa, hey, (laughs) now we can really be together. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Ain't no more playing wiffle ball in the backyard with you. I got other ideas. But anyway, (laughs) congratulations to Thailand's most beautiful transgender woman. She is off the market. Poid Trichada Petcharat, spending almost 600 grand on a dress. Let's get back to the talk that will keep you talking. This is the host with the most, Todd Cast, with Todd Newton. Maria, there is a plastic surgeon in New York City by the name of Dr. Barry Weintraub, and he's one of the best, apparently. One of the okay. best, one of the most sought after plastic surgeons by the wealthy, by the famous, and he has just released. I, was this on his website? Yeah, this is on his website. The four procedures, the four top procedures that the rich people are going for right now. Would you like to hear what the wealthy 
or spending their money on cosmetically? I would love to know. Okay. Because I prior to reading this, I didn't know what anything costs. I don't know. Like, I, you know, my wife will see somebody on television. And she'll be like, fillers, eye lift. She can name Botox. She can name all of it. I'm like, oh, really? I just thought, <laughs> you know. But here are the four most common procedures, uh, the cosmetic procedures, cosmetic enhancement procedures that the wealthy are getting. Number one, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, buccal fat removal surgery, B-U-C-C-A-L, buccal buccal fat removal surgery. Where is that at? Well, this is what that Chrissy Teigen has done. So it removes fat from the face to highlight bone structure. Like, oh, you know, she gets rid of your double chin. It, the double chin. And if you've got puffy cheeks, you know, like little round baby yeah. cheeks, right around the cheekbones, the area between the cheek and the jaw. So this is this is the big one right now. And that costs, depending on who you go to, between $9,500 and twelve k. So that ain't a cheap, that's not a cheap procedure. That John Legend. Thank God she's married to John Legend. I was just going to say, you know, he had to do a couple of shows to pay for that. You know, I mean, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, he's probably got the money. That's why he's playing that clear piano that's filled with uh, (laughs) stuff. Uh, The next one is commercial radio frequency micro needling. Radio frequency micro needling. A lot of rich people are getting this done, men and women, by the way. It uses. What part of your body is this? Well, dig this. It uses a small device, like a little, a little pin, a little prick, to puncture the skin all over your face to freshen and rejuvenate it. Apparently, it stimulates the growth of new collagen fibers, which that's something they can't prove. They're just telling you that. It takes about 20 minutes to cover the entire face. Cost is $1,500. People are getting that left and right. That's like the that's like the the bargain menu at McDonald's. You know, you want yeah, something. they're going out for lunch and then getting their face micro needles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cheekbone fillers is a big one too. Cheekbone fillers Ooh, yeah. add volume to the cheekbones. Uh, the patient receives hyaluronic acid injections, and apparently that's a natural fluid that's produced in the eyes and in the joints. People with really bad arthritis get these injections. Uh, cost is between five hundred dollars and a thousand bucks a shot, and you need one shot in each cheek. Cheekbone fillers, and then the the last one, the top cosmetic procedures that's happening right now: bedroom eye lifts also known as fox eyes. And you've seen this more than you realize, Maria. Uh, It raises the outside of a person's eyebrows, makes the eyes appear longer, might smooth out a few wrinkles, and the doctor numbs the eyebrows, then places this little thread under the skin. And it costs about a thousand bucks to get done. It'll last you about three months. So you gotta get that done over and over. You know what, I'm good. I'm good right here. I'll just leave everything where it went. I look at, yeah, wherever it falls, that's where it stays. That's what I say. And you know, But listen, if I got this kind of money, you know I'm thinking tattoo. Thank you for keeping the art of conversation alive. For more Todd, visit toddnewtononline.com. And don't forget to rate and review the show today. The host with the most Toddcast is produced by the host with the most LLC. All rights reserved.